Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Drunken Cobalt. Today we have our one inch Warlock straight wall tiles and um, I don't know which box I want to review. They're both the same piece wise and so they're pretty much the same set just a different aesthetic. So how are we going to choose which one we open up? We're going to flip a coin. Town and village it is. So let's take a look at the inside of our town and village kit. Comes in the black carrying case that we have come to know and love from Warlock Tiles. And voila, this is what you will be greeted with when you open the box. All right, let's take a look at the breakdown of this box. You get 14 one inch exterior walls, six one inch exterior inside corners, four one inch exterior outside corners, six one inch interior walls, four one inch exterior doors, two one inch interior doors, 12 edge caps and two end caps, 16 one by one tiles, 20 one by two tiles, four one by four tiles, all double sided, and 100 easy clips. So what does this bring to the table in terms of innovation? We're not going to build a fresh build with these as they're pretty much just smaller versions of the original dungeon tiles and town and village half wall sets. But the original sets had some shortcomings that I feel that these easily fix. So without further ado, let's get into those. I have built here a two by six room. I want to put two rooms in the back that are evenly spaced. So let's begin how we would do that. We have our two inch interior walls from Dungeon Tiles 1. Insert like such, insert like such, and we have our two entrances to said rooms. However, with a two by two tile, you're not able to place this in the middle, meaning you're either going to have a two by two room and a four by four room, or you got to build this build bigger to have the space that you need. Well, with the one by two tiles that come in the one inch set, you don't need to do that now. And that is, in my opinion, freaking awesome. So here I have built the same room. However, I've replaced the middle rear tile with two one by two dungeon tiles. Let's pop these in place like such, like we did with the original. And then like such, we're going to be able to insert this there and voila, two evenly spaced rooms. So that is, in my opinion, super freaking cool. But that isn't where this ends. Let's go back to our original room here and say we want to convert this into three two by two jail cells. Well, you wouldn't have been able to do that with the two inch interior walls, but we are able to do that with the one inch interior walls. So let me get my one inch interior walls here. And we're also going to highlight the ability to have more flexibility with the doors and archways kit. So we're going to place our first door from the doors and archways. We're going to place our one inch wall. We're going to place one of the interior walls from the new kit right here to represent jail cell door number two. We're going to put our one inch wall in, jail cell door number three, one inch wall. Like such, insert. And then we're going to take two of our two inch walls from Dungeon Tiles one. We're going to insert them like such in between the two by two tiles and voila we now have three two by two jail cells and the flexibility that these bring to the table is absolutely amazing all right 
Now, one of the biggest flaws of Dungeon Tiles 1 and even Dungeon Tiles 2, along with their town and village counterpart, is interior doors. The interior doors have never opened. Well, not anymore. With the one inch kit, we have Holy Mother of Tiamat. We have functioning interior doors. Finally, thank you, Wiz Kids. Each kit comes with two of them. So there isn't a lot to go around, but they are here, and that is absolutely amazing. So thank you, Wiz Kids, for finally, finally listening to that downfall of your original sets. Now, in the past, the dungeon tiles and the town and village tiles have been really flexible in, in what you have been able to build, and with a few workarounds, you've been able to build really impressive builds. However, there has always been that shortcoming when it comes to really tight corners. So let's take a look at an example of what I'm talking about. So here we have our two pieces and we want to try and keep these on grid while we clip them together. As you can see, that is not going to happen. As is right now, this is not a clippable build. But what we used to do, and this has worked for the most part, is we would clip here and then we would take an interior corner wall, put an end cap and two edge caps on it, and then we would insert it like such into the build, and then you have your tight corner accomplished. However, it is still not fully clipped. Well, that is now no longer an issue. Fully clipped tight corners. How you build this is with your two interior corners, you fill the inside corners of your tight corner there. You have your one inch interior walls here, and then you use two end caps along with two regular two inch walls to finish it off. And voila, she is fully clipped, ready to go. The versatility in these kits is absolutely phenomenal and it really fixes the shortcomings of the first half height set. Unfortunately, there is no full height walls for this yet and there has been no announcement of them coming to be. So I don't know if that is ever going to happen if Dungeon Tiles and Town and Village Tiles 2 are going to get the same fixes and treatments as the original sets. This, in my opinion, is the first 10 out of 10 tiles set. Why do I say that? Well, there is, a, there is the one downside of there not being many of the pieces here. You don't get a lot of floor space being one inch tiles, but the versatility that this adds to the original set is absolutely amazing and cannot be ignored. The fact that this fixes all the flaws of the original sets makes this, in my opinion, the perfect set. Do I recommend to buy more? Hell yes, I do. Yes, you're going to have quite a few pieces that you probably won't use a lot, especially the one inch by one inch tiles, but there is so many pieces here that you can use in your super builds to add a little bit of creativity and flavor to them that there is no reason not to get multiple of these. You'd be a fool not to. These are absolutely amazing. So the, the one thing that I want to note, and this isn't a problem with the tiles themselves, is WizKids is having a lot of delays in shipping. And I know a lot of places in the world haven't even seen their first shipment of these yet. Do not let that influence your perception of this kit. These are amazing kits, and I highly recommend that you pick them up when you get them. If you live in a part of the world where you are lucky enough to be able to enjoy these like I am, 
have you had a chance to enjoy them? Let me know in the comments down below. If you feel I deserved it, please give this video a thumbs up and do consider subscribing. I love having new subscribers checking out the channel and giving new feedback. It really makes my day. In the meantime, cheers and may the royals be with you.